Hello, Dorothy here at Done by Dorothy. I want to invite you into my craft desk today um, to sort of share with you the project that we're going to be creating soon. Um, as an introduction sort of to Mother's Day, we decided to launch this project. This is a collab between Bella Creativa Designs by Katie and by myself, Done by Dorothy, which is, I'm Dorothy. And we decided to sort of merge two different areas of paper crafting together. Uh, and I'm sure that, you know, they overlap. I know they do because I use both. I know Katie uses both. Um, so, you know, collabing them is sort of an easy choice. So let me sort of get into it. We're going to be creating a junk journal and we're going to be using my digital kits and we're going to be using Katie's SVG journal pack. And I will walk you sort of through this and show you um, different aspects of that. So I'm going to start with my paper collection really fast because I want to make sure I put a lot of detail into this. Um, okay, we're going to be using my Ghostly Rose collection. Um, there's actually several collections. Every link to Etsy stores, Facebook groups, YouTube channels, everything will be in the description box below. So please feel free, you know, to click on those links and go out and discover what's going on. Katie has some tremendously beautiful albums, three-dimensional projects. It's amazing. Um, I have digitals in my store, some junk journals, just a variety of stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I have had a cold, so please forgive me. Okay, so I'm using the, we're going to be using the Ghostly Rose. Me and Katie both will be creating a junk journal. We both will be using the same items, so you'll be able to see basically two different perspectives. So make sure you check out her channel too, because you know, my junk journal, you may be like, eh, not my style. But you may click on Katie's and be like, whoa, this is my style. Or vice versa, you may look at Katie's and go, eh, not my style. And you may look at mine and go, oh, this is totally me. So make sure you check out both of them. Hey, the Ghostly Rose Kit. I'm not going to flip through every page, um, but they are a faded rose kit is what it is. Um, there's line digital pages. There are pages of ephemera, butterflies, tags, postcards. Um, there's also a postcard kit. There's some journaling spots, envelopes, small, medium, and large. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, some vintage ephemera pages. So yeah, let me flip through here, sort of get to the back here. So that is one kit. There's some larger envelopes. That is one kit that we're going to be using. So the Ghostly Rose. And make sure when you go in the Etsy store, you check. There are several different parts to the kit. Um, there's the Ghostly Rose postcard collection. There's mini postcards and full-size postcards. Make sure to hold that up so you can see. And again a journaling tag, some additional postcards, some washi. So these are pages that continue on with that. Okay. There is also the floral linen kit, and there are different pieces to this, but like there's that, um, and there's the green, and let me hold it up if you can see. You can actually see the lines of the floral linen, so there's different ones of those. Um, again, that's another one. And that is one of the things I'll be talking about that comes with Katie's kits. We'll talk about that in a minute. We will also be using the Romancing Rose Marbled Paper Kit. Um, and there are pinks and some multicolors, some creams, greens, blues, and of course a yellow in there. So there's a variety of colors there. So let me get that out of the way. Make sure I grab this so I can show you a couple examples. So, moving on to Katie's SVG journal pack. I absolutely love this. Um, fell in love with this. So, collabing with this was actually, I just was excited about it from the beginning. So, you'll get this. Um, you'll get the little SVG pack explanation, sort of directions, and a little guide. Um, as well as the scalable vector graphics, you will get the graphics for 
not only the base of the item, but also for the mat. So it gives you two different ways you can go. If you have the base of the product, like say this is a slotted pocket. Um, actually she calls this something and I probably should look that up and use the terms that she uses. So let me walk in here. So there's the directions. It tells you how to upload it into your cutting machine, what to do with it. Um, so if you have a cutting machine and you're not familiar with it, she has excellent videos on walking step-by-step -step through um, using a Cricut Maker is what she actually uses, or a Cricut is what she uses um, through Design Canvas. So there is an explanation there. Her copyright statement stating, you know, that you can't use these for your own. And then <coughs> you get a grid of the journal pack. You will see blue and you will see pink. The blue is the base. The pink is the mat. So, you know, you're getting mats and the bases. So, for example, with the slot pocket, you will get the base. This is the base cut. You can use your regular, like, double-sided or even one-sided cardstock and cut the base out and, you know, pull out your page for your journal and just glue the base down and be done. Or, because she does include the mat, you can make the mat, cut the mat, turn this around the right way, create the mat, be able to glue it together, glue that on your page, and you have that lovely cut file and the mat all around. Now, I have used these files, guys, and I have used files from a multitude of different designers for SVGs. These cut so nice, so smooth, no problems. I was amazed at how easy it, happened. it went. I mean, I loaded them, threw them to my mats, and cut them. It took me about 15 minutes to cut the whole entire kit. That was the bases and the mats. I mean, it just flipped right through them. So, yeah. So, yeah, you get the base and the mat, which looks really great. Um, so, let's go through. Another example is, like, there's a the tickets, right? And which I love. Let's look at this detail here. Let me grab a piece of white paper so you can see. Look at the little circles in between. Just like vintage tickets. I love it. And you get the little mats for each of the tickets. So you can actually mat your little ticket. So, I mean, you could cut this out of, you know, you could print words and cut it out or, you know, any kind of thing like that. Or use your, um, your writing tool on your Cricut and write on it and actually, you know, put the names of your tabs on there and have it all done by hand. So you get, um, let's just go through it. You get a large pocket, a medium pocket, a smaller pocket, a library pocket with mats, a small bag that has a mat. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get a large bag. It doesn't come with a mat. It makes a large bag, a notebook insert. And the notebook insert is really cool because let me see if I can find it. It is really cool because it actually comes with the holes down the side like for a notebook. I love that. I thought that was sort of a really cool added feature. Okay, so you get that. You get a CD sleeve pocket that folds up and you get the circle insert to put inside. You get another small pocket, a corner pocket, letter pocket one and two, A4 pocket one and two, a file folder which has the inserts for both sides of the file folder and the tabs, a trifold pocket that folds up, five tickets in a row, a matchbook, a Rolodex card, and the the one file that I had, well, I set it down. Oh, that's okay. The one I had earlier, that's what that was for, was for the Rolodex card. You get a slide, you get page tabs, <clears throat> You get a viewfinder, and the viewfinder is absolutely adorable. And I love how it has the bigger slots around, so it's really nice. Um, and you get the slot pocket. So you get an, <clears throat> a nice variety at an affordable price. I apologize for my throat. To guy, you guys, if I wasn't trying to do this, my throat would be perfectly fine. It's just the way it's going to go. Um, absolutely gorgeous. It is great. So we were going to be using... 
the SVGs along with my digital kits. So I'm super excited about using the SVGs because, you know, that's just something you don't ever see. You don't see the SVGs and the digitals together. Um, you know, yes, you will purchase the digital from my store. You will go and buy the SVG file from Katie's store, but they will merge together. And I know, I know all of my subscribers. I know my, some of my subscribers, they're going to go, I don't have a Cricut. I don't have a Silhouette. I don't have a Brother Scanica. I don't have a cutting machine. They're too expensive. I can't afford them. I'm on a budget. You know, I'm on a fixed income. I can't afford it. I totally understand that. And I'm not going to go, well, but you can go buy one. Maybe you can afford it. I don't know each and every person's personal situation. But Katie has thought about this. Katie thought ahead of this. It worked out really great. Um, she has the SVG journal pack if you have a cutting machine. If, in fact, you do not have a cutting machine, but you still want to get in and you want to do this, and you want to join us creating our journals, she has created a printable term. I can get it out. I am so sorry. A printable template pack. This is going to be almost like the SVGs, except it's printable. So we'll walk through that. It's going to come with an explanation about how to use the printable templates. An instructional video where she talks about her journals that she's made from it and she does have other examples that she's walked through with her journal so you with this you're not just getting my version of my junk journal her version of her junk journal she also has another other journals that she has created with this and i can tell you straight up right now this is a kit that i will use in my journals this is not going to be something that's going to be one of those svg files or one of those printable templates that's going to set on a shelf or on my desktop on my computer or in a hidden file and never get used. This is something you can use with every single journal multiple times. You can use multiples and you know whether you're using the template or the cutting machine you know if you want more than one pocket then you know what you can do more than one pocket. If you want you know a slotted pocket on the front and the back of your journal go at it. If you want multiple Rolodex cards you can do it. If you want to make a waterfall al album using Rolodex cards guess what you yeah, can. So you are not limited. So there is a little guide that tells you, and these are a little bit different from the SVG, and I'll tell you how they're little, is because with using SVGs, you could use a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. So these have been altered enough so that the templates fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. You have a pocket 1, 2, and pocket 4, two page tabs. A corner pocket, a pocket three, letter pocket, some more page tabs. So she has not wasted a space. If there is an empty space, she has thread space in there for you. An A4 pocket two, A4 pocket one, A4 uh, letter pocket two, four page tabs, a slot pocket, the library pocket, the Rolodex card, and the page tabs. So there's lots of page tabs on this one where on the cutting files you get one of each because you create how many you want to. With this, she's laid them out on the pages. And so this is just sort of your guide to what your pages are. Okay, the CD sleeve, the tickets, the small bag, the notebook insert, the viewfinder, four slides, two more page tabs, a trifold pocket, part two, a large bag, and a matchbook. File folder, a trifold pocket, a letter pocket. Oh, the, oh, yes, that's right. Then we get into the mats. You have a mat for pocket one, two, four. Your matchbook mats, your corner pocket mat, your mat three, both of your letter size pocket mats, your A4 pocket mats, your library pocket mats, the one for the larger one in the back, the one for the smaller one in the front, your slot pocket mat, your CD sleeve, your slide mat, your page tabs, your Rolodex, your CD sleeve. So you have all of the pieces of your CD sleeve. Here's the round part for the inside of your CD sleeve your small bag, your notebook insert mat, your trifold pocket mat, your ticket mats, and your viewfinder mat. Your file folder mats with your file folder tab mats. The writing on here I have done for my own notes, so please don't pay attention to that. And the trifold pocket part mats. 
Okay, now these I wrote on here. These do not come written on here. I have wrote this on here myself. That is just me um, because my concept that I'm going to do, and I will do a flip through of that when I get it done, is I want to laminate each of my pages and um, use Velcro dots attached to my templates and be able to stick it to the page, pull it off and use it, put it right back just to keep it a little bit more organized because if I put them all in a pocket, then I have to sort through them. Being able to grab and go works for me. So these will be your templates. And let me grab, I'm just going to grab a piece of our marble paper, for example. Okay, say this is, I just printed on copy paper, but if I printed it on cardstock and I wanted to use it, you have two options here. You can cut or print your template on cardstock, cut it out and have a template that you can trace around, or you can put your paper in your printer, your scrapbook paper, if you're using a, a different kind of kit, or you're printed here that you've printed on cardstock, print this page out right on top, then you just cut it out, it's already on there and you don't have to use mats. So you do have that alternative, which makes it really nice. So these templates are gonna follow the same as the guide. Um, you know, lots of tabs, which I loved because I never have enough tabs. Rolodex card, your slot pocket, there's your library pocket, the large one in the back, the small one in the front. Your notebook and your small bag, your large bag. So that does make a nice size bag because that bag, let me grab my ruler here, which is all gonna keep, but that's okay. Com makes a completed about approximately five and three quarters, not pretty close to five and three quarters by uh three and five eighths so i mean it's a nice size to fit in the journal your matchbook your viewfinder the trifold pocket the slides the tab there's your file folder the trifold pocket your pocket mats your matchbook mat your corner pocket mat so i love this because you know having the template i can and people will go well you if you have a cutting machine which i do um i have a brother scanning cut and a cricket um and i'm using that why would you keep the templates why would you make a book with the templates dorothy it just doesn't make sense well yeah it doesn't make it because i use my cricket i use my brother scanning cut but sometimes you know i'm doing a journal and it's the last minute i go oh you know what would be great in this journal a slot pocket I need a slot pocket. I can run, grab my template book, grab my one template out and do it, trace around it and be done because I'm only doing one item and have it done faster than I could put my machine up, pull out my computer, hook it up and do that. So it's a matter of convenience for doing, you know, when I need to do several things or I want to do just a couple things. There's the file folder tab and the trifold pockets so yes it does come with a printable template so there is an option for everybody um you know whether you have a cutting machine or not um it is there so we will be introducing this for mother's day um this is the first installment the intro tomorrow or you know the day after this post uh, we will start in and I will deal with, I'll go through everything that I'm going to be using and then I'll follow through that until we get the album finished, which will be done before the month of May. Um, actually probably before mother, well, not mother's day because mother's day we're entering, introing this on Friday. Mother's day is on Sunday. Um, and I like to do mine step by step in multi parts. So it makes it easier for everybody to get, grab that little chunk of information and do it. Um, I'm not sure Katie may have hers all up at once. You'll have to check her channel out to find that out. There's a reason to go check it out. Um, so I did want to share this with you and just sort of intro and let you know what's going on. Um, I will show you like, for example, because I'm filming this actually after I've started working on it. Um, so the other videos are already recorded for some of them. Yeah. So there is a signature. So I will be making a three signature journal. I will tell you that. And I will walk you through how to make those. So yeah, we are 
going to be having fun doing this. And hopefully, you know, if this works out great and it's pretty awesome, we may do another collaboration in the future. So I hope you guys have a great day, a happy Mother's Day. Um, I hope you decide to join in and have fun with this journal. Um, there is no high cost for any of it. My kits are extremely reasonable. Um, Katie's kits are extremely reasonable, you know, so, you know, give it a go. And if you are going to join in and, you know, make it along with us, you know, give me a shout out in the comments. Let me know. You know, I'd love to know uh, if you're in my Facebook group, post pictures. If you're in Katie's, I'm sure she feels the same way. So you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow and have um, a wonderful Mother's Day.